And we're streaming live on the Facebook. Wish I was going to show the stuff. Pardon? Never mind. It's okay. It's a Motown Friday. I'm Jerry Yegar, and Friday at 11 o'clock in the morning, Leanne Phillipson suddenly appears in the building from, well, SprouteRight.com, but now you're working on LeannePhillipson.com? I am. Leanne, two N's. Phillipson, two L's. Oh, excellent. You can spell it for them. Um, yes, so SprouteRight.com really originally, excuse me, was uh, nutrition from tummy to toddler, and then everything else that I do just ends up on SprouteRight.com, so I'd really like to keep SprouteRight.com a bit more for the new, yep, the grown new up parents, site and the kid site. A little bit like that, yeah, all because right. my book is yeah. is is all about that. So LeannePhillipson.com is now live. Let me know what you think of the logo. We'd like to announce that Leanne Phillipson now has an adult website. <laughs> Still nutrition, and it's all, way, and it's and the tagline. Thank you to Tony Chapman and a little bit to Jason, our previous producer. Previous producer. Tagline is called Eat This. Okay. Because we did so for so long eat we this, did not the, that. We did well, eat this, not that. But I, rather yeah. than saying eat this, not that, I'm just going to tell you eat this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, are you hung over? No. Oh, okay. Last Thursday, a week ago, yes. um, Leanne dragged me out to a whiskey tasting event, which I enjoyed very much. Yes. And then last night you went to another one, and I thought you were turning into quite the alcoholic, aren't you? Yeah, no. It's tasting. It's oh, not, it's tasting. It's not boozing. It's yes, that's tasting. Yes. A lot of people are tasting a lot of alcohol. It's an appreciation of. I did, a, okay. I did a maple water tasting the other day. Maple water? Yeah. Stick with the whiskey. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. All right, here's my report, because uh, since last end of last January, when uh, I kind of got started on realizing I needed to lose some weight, I, I would tell you, you know, how I did yes. each time. Yes. And uh, today's report has nothing to do with how much I weigh. Today's report has to do with visiting the doctor. Oh. I went to see the doctor this week because I was ordering my uh, blood pressure medications. Okay. I had to take two different medications because my blood pressure was so high. Right. One of the things, I always joke that I started the weight loss because I couldn't get my motorcycle jacket on. Yes. But I was at the drugstore once with a friend and they have that deal where you can stick your arm in and taste, you know. Yeah. And so I stuck my arm in and, and the numbers came up and my friend said, oh my God, you're going to pop. Yes. Yeah, it was really bad. Pop out uh, of your motorcycle jacket and just pop from your, and blood, just pop from your blood pressure. Pop from your blood pressure. Not good. Monty Python movie. Right. So, um, so here's what happened. So I went to see the doctor. She's the only doctor I've ever had since I've lived here, which is almost eight years now. Wow. Um, so she has a pretty good handle on what my yep. medical situation is. Good. And uh, with the medications, we had managed to get my blood pressure down to where, okay, fine, like that's working, and yes. make sure you keep taking those pills every day. Okay. All right? So they took my blood pressure. I didn't have any idea what it was going to be. Yep. And she said, those are the best numbers I've ever seen <gasps> for you. Fantastic. Which is good news number one. Yes. And good news number two is um, I, one of the medications I take is 10 milligrams. Okay. She said, well, you, let's cut that back to five. Make sure you monitor how your blood pressure is while you're doing this. Yes. Turns out conveniently these little pills are easy to snap in half. Oh, good. Um, and Maybe for that reason. Yes. Okay. And if my blood pressure doesn't go up at, at the end of the month, Yes. I drop that medication for a month and see if that's okay. And if it is, I'm off that one. So it's so, completely gone potentially in a month. Right. So Fabulous. my goal to some degree is not only to continue to lose weight, but that, you know, this year I've been working on losing weight. Yeah. My goal yep. through the next number of months yes. and, and next year is yeah. that I don't take any medication. Oh, I love that. But here's the thing. It just points out. Uh, for me, more than you know, other people are going to go. Well, that's pretty easy to understand. Right. Uh, but realistically, yes, I had a health issue, high blood pressure. Yes. Why? Because I was overweight. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's that simple. Yeah. Yeah. And I can make it go away. Right. You are. That's you are, not as simple. It's easy, it's easier to say it than it is to, to do. Yeah. It is easy easy to say, and everything that you're doing is supporting that from having. Better, you know, more vegetables, eating well, less alcohol, like everything that you've done. You got to work on the exercise still. I know that that's something, but I, Jerry is, if you watch on the Leanne Phillips and, um, Spr um, not Sprout Red, I, I keep saying that now. You Leanne don't know Phillips your own website. Page. I know, I don't even know where, where I'm sending everybody now. Uh, if you watch on uh, the Facebook Live, Jerry's sporting a lovely new 
blue shirt uh -huh. and his greasy glasses. Uh, and you said that that's a smaller size. Well, there's no way I could have worn this shirt. No way he could have worn this shirt. But so those are the little rewards that you are, get in life. But the big rewards. No, is the, 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 every the, day. Yeah. These, these things remind you every day. Every time you put on that shirt, you're going to think, okay, I can wear this, and I couldn't wear it before. Yeah. Every time you take that pill, it's going to be less than before. They're all really amazing things to, to celebrate. So well yeah. done. The small reward is the smaller pants and the smaller shirt, and, and you look better. And yeah. I, I actually got them to change my photo on the uh, on Newstock1010.com. Uh, and that kind of stuff. But the big reward is apparently I'm not going to die. That's a really, really good one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're going to be around for a lot longer. Well, I got so to get I got to get those kids through university. You After do. that, you I, do. I'm no you use to anybody. <laughs> After that, I'm no use to anybody, and I can die. <laughs> I don't think that they would say that. Somebody just wrote in 180 over 110. Doctor put me on meds. Yeah, no kidding. Oh wow. 180 over 110. Yeah, that's, that's a good set of numbers. That's uh, 120 over 80. Yeah, yeah. So 50 percent over the number that uh, a, this person should have been. That's a very scary number. Yeah, because you were going to pop. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Oh, somebody also had an idea for uh, for this segment. Hearing about all your uh, whiskey tasting events. Yes. Drink this, not that. Drink this. <laughs> I like that. Hey, while I was driving yeah. here today, uh -huh. I saw that there is a, randomly an LCBO pop up whiskey store. Yes. Oh, now you want to go there? Well, I don't know. We could have a little outing. I'm can really I, not can, obsessed with whiskey. Can I just let stop you just, for a second let me just and ask Lisa in the traffic department if she's starting to wonder whether or not the nutritionist is an alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Grey Goose or the Smirnoff? Oh no, it has to be. Um, oh, what's the other one? There's there are. There's other more than yeah, there, there, There's actually Beaties Kettle One. That's one. Okay. Uh, Beaties. That one comes from Alliston. Okay. That's quite. That's quite lovely. I do sound like a bit of an alcoholic talking about no, this, but but it's it's about when you drink, drinking well again, like anything else. What do you mean drinking well? Well, something that, you know, if you have a bit of, a, you know, a whiskey or a scotch or, some, or something like that, that it's really good because I'll only have like one shot and that'll be it. So it better be the good stuff. It, exactly. So make it a really good one and enjoy it and savor it all evening. All right. Woodford so. Reserve or Forty Creek? I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, the Forty Creek is, it's local. <laughs> is that, is that there's a, no, that's there, there, now. There's a grid on Lisa a that you they, can't see. They have a new spokesperson, voiceover person. Forty Creek, Toronto's new <laughs> green bins were supposed to be raccoon proof, but they're actually, are they succeeding? The newsroom with a close look at the news at 11.30. It's 11.15. News Talk 1010 time, Sabre Traffic. Not the most pleasant drive. That's great. Is that what is that? Vodka? Forty Creek is a. It's a well, you can't call it a bourbon because it wasn't made in the United States, but it's a, it's a whiskey made in uh, just outside Toronto. Oh, and is Lisa really the voice? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but just the way she went, Forty Creek. It's delicious. She does some voice on the voice. She has a great voice. Yes, she does. I I heard for her show, for her yoga show, the um, voiceover that she did. Yes. Which was which was fantastic. It was. She did very very well. No, I'm in the business. Even if you do die, the lighter you are, the cheaper the cremation. <laughs> I'm going to read that on the air. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Yeah. Seriously? I switched from Weiser's and Ginger to Vodka Soda. Lost 30 pounds eliminating the sugar from the pop. Yes. That's huge. We should do Drink This, not, not that. No, it was Kettle, it was kettle One okay. and the Beaties. The Beaties, I think it's called Beaties. It comes from Alston. It's a potato. That's, is it a potato? I think it's a potato vodka because... Isn't Allison known for their potatoes or something? Are continuing to clean up um, the cement spill. Yeah, News talk very good. Weather, okay. A beautiful, yeah. clear, well, here, I'll tell you where 40 Creek is. And a high of 21 today, which is well above seasonal for this so time of the year. So it's a whiskey. It's yeah, bright and I do so like it. Now, so what is, degrees. like, um, what Grimsby. is Grimsby. Oh. Forester, hosted by tenor if you're on the highway October going down to Niagara, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll Grimsby. actually see their signs. And now that we've mentioned it to you, you'll probably notice it. And it'll say 40 Creek, so you can turn off and do their tour at the tour and buy your way But, uh, because I've been to some really good tours. Do you know we're doing our own beer? We start selling beer. I saw that. Socks, beer. What else? I don't know. Thongs. Oh God. Yeah, with our names on it, you should see the spot Jerry's in now. Oh boy. So I asked Leah. Yes. If she'd ever had a Harvey Weinstein moment. Yeah. Here was her answer. Yeah. 
She cleaned it up a little on the air. Okay. Your long -term but disability claim. she was 20 and years old. Yeah. So that plays into it, too. Because she said it was happening to me now. I handled it. My name is Aaron Waxman. Sure. And if your disability insurer and, uh, denies your disability yeah. claim for any reason, uh, yeah. or if your employer okay. threatens well, to fire you, she told you to work, call me for a So since we're not on the radio, I'm just going to tell the story. She said she was driving with the director of the infomercial she was part of. And the phone rang. In the car. And it was the producer. And so the director put the phone on speakerphone and Hi, said, Hi, whatever his name is, here I'm here again. with Gina. I'm excited to announce our newest he didn't realize it was speakerphone. He said, Oh, December I get some head. Is our brand new She's 20 years old. Oh, no. The guy said, We're on speakerphone. And he hung up. And, service when you and he apologized it. to her. Just north and she said, And that director Street. kept me away from that producer on the entire for the rest of the entire Really? And I said, Well, that's good. Can you talk to the producer? And she went, I don't know. I never thought about that. But she said, He said, Said we're on speakerphone and then so hung up, so yeah. he knew. Cost yeah. of your small business yeah. insurance. Wow. Now she said I've never had anything where somebody forced themselves on me or anything that was close, but you know, it made her feel uncomfortable. Yeah, well, that's like, you know, that's that's a nice situation. Have me here. And it's terrible at age 20 because yeah. you're not quite sure what to do here in a very vulnerable place. Right. She says now I would have reached over and stopped him from hanging the phone up and said, you know, but okay, but and, you know, and told him what she thought. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. but it's like 14 or 15 years later. Like you know, Gina's a completely different person. Yes. Of much more able to for yeah. the right stand up for to himself. Replace your furnace. The time is Terrible. now. Get a new furnace from Reliance Home. Okay, what do you want to do here? Uh, well, the anxiety thing is what I is what you promised. We better talk about that. Yeah. Um, now the I want to make sure that we're not just essentially telling them the same news. Really. No, what to do? With, with you know, like have a salad. You know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, that was that was part of the conversation with Tony last week. Was why? Why do I want to do this? What, make it relevant. Make it relevant to my life. Right. Everything I've done all week, I've tried to flip it. So that it's like that. Now, right. Keep it relevant, keep it more takeaways, not so much calorie numbers and all of those kind of things. Exactly. Just really flip it so that it is really relevant um, for listeners. So, and, yeah. I love, and I love that feedback. It was fantastic. No, he, yeah, he's exactly um, right. And I, yeah, I just love that perspective. Um, and even if we get into a couple of the, the office lunch hacks, um, there's a blog post on, because um, I promote that on Twitter and stuff. There's a blog post and the link to BT on um, my site. Too busy worrying about my baby, so don't bother me, all right? Busy thinking about my baby to do anything else. It's a nice song. It's kind of creepy if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's a Motown Friday. I'm Jerry Agar. Leanne Phillipson is here. LeannePhillipson.com and SproutRight.com. So a couple of pieces of feedback here to what we were talking about before. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I was teasing a little bit about these whiskey tasting events you're going to. And we were going to do Drink This, Not That. Uh, but somebody just wrote in, <laughs> I switched from Weiser's and Ginger to Vodka Soda, lost 30 pounds, eliminating all the sugar from the pop. Yep. Huge. Yep. Huge. You do not realize how much you're consuming when you have that mixed drink. So yeah, but how many Weisers and Gingers was this guy <laughs> drinking? It may be over a period of time. So. Yes, okay. And it, there could have been other factors involved. Yep, and um, I, I was talking about um, losing weight. My blood pressure has gone way down, and we're working on getting me off the medication. And I said, well, the good news is I'm not going to die. At least until my daughter gets out of university, then I can die because <laughs> I'm useless. And somebody wrote in saying, I'm in the business. Even if you do die, the lighter you are, the cheaper the cremation. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> Be doing my wife are a favor. Weighed, are you weighed by the pound or something? I, I guess. I, I can't don't know. believe that. I've never cremated anybody. I yes. So I don't. Well, know. actually, my mom, my mom was cremated, but I, I didn't. I guess I didn't ask all, all of the questions that Other, maybe yeah. you need to know. I mean, Sa well, same with my she mom. She was very sick at the end, so she hardly weighed anything. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, there's that. Yeah. All right. Not nice. Five anti-anxiety foods and their key components to calm your nerves. I thought that actually um, anti-anxiety foods were bad for you because they're comfort foods. <laughs> you know, if I just have this entire tub of Hagen dazs I'm going to feel better. No, that's not one of the foods to no, have, for, for, have for anxiety. Well, one in four Canadians 
uh, will have at least one anxiety disorder in their lifetime. So if you happen to be one of them uh -huh. and you feel a bit helpless uh, about how you're feeling, have a look at what's on your plate. All right. right. You're always this is in not, charge. This is not the kind of advice you're going to need from a doctor if of you're having depression not. issues. No, nope, so, nope. yeah. this is just, uh, I'm going to have a meal. What can I put on my plate that, you know, that's going to support what what's going on in my life? That's all. You can always make okay. an improvement by, by what you're choosing. So certain vitamins, minerals, you've got to eat regularly so that your blood sugar, your energy, and your mood don't crash. If you end up feeling worse, of, however anxiety or otherwise if you end up feeling worse when you haven't eaten make sure you're eating regularly that's just a really a really easy thing to do so these one one of these five foods is avocado it's rich in b vitamins and folate and b12 why does that matter because it's perfect for preventing mental health anxiety any kind of disorder like that so avocado is a tremendous food to have if you can put that on your plate every day some spinach magnesium zinc and again folate and again why does it matter why do you want to try and have spinach over anything else because it's prevention and it's also calming because it has magnesium in it it helps to calm magnesium is great to, to have before bed um, you know if I recommend to a client to be taking magnesium it's always before bed it does aid sleep and it's also very calming to the body how come it's never the fun stuff what like chocolate yeah. Well, there's there's, mag a good there's, plate. there's magnesium and chocolate. Okay. Don't, don't have that before you go. But the dark no. stuff. The dark, dark chocolate. The dark chocolate. Yeah. A lot of magnesium in there, and also zinc. So it's again really calming. So if you want to have some <laughs> some avocado and chocolate or spinach and chocolate, can't I just have go, the chocolate? Go right ahead. You can do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a All better right. choice than having a sugary something or another. Yeah. We're gonna have to be uh, mindful of the amount of chocolate. Well, yes. Yeah. There is yeah. you know a couple of squares, but sometimes with dark chocolate you don't need to have a lot. Because it's just different. Yeah. Well, okay, don't put so much on Jerry's plate because he's giving me that look again. Like if it's on my plate, I'm going to eat it. Uh, red and yellow peppers, vitamin C, antioxidants uh, are what you get from peppers and anything colorful, really. And why does that matter? Again, because it helps, uh, it helps prevention, but really to reduce inflammation and healing of the brain. Right? Okay. So? Is this stuff that nutritionists say or will medical doctors back you up on this? There is no reason why a medical doctor wouldn't back me up on this. These okay. are very simple things. I'm not saying this is going to cure anything. I'm just saying it gives you some power back where maybe you're taking medication, maybe you're just not feeling great, you're in an anxious place, you're having anxiety attacks. It just takes a little bit of focus maybe off of that and thinking, I'm going to choose something different to put on my plate and see if it makes me feel better. Yeah, I want You've to reemphasize. nothing to lose. I, of yeah. course you're under the... Um, guidance of your doctor, you don't stop taking medication, whatever is recommended. I, I never say that. That's not my place at all. This is just in, in adding in. So tofu, oats, eggs, and turkey. You've heard about turkey and tryptophan, the stuff that makes you go to sleep. Well, it's calming. So all those foods, tofu, eggs, and turkey, have tryptophan in them, and that tells the body to release serotonin, which is a feel-good chemical in your body. All so right. it's calming to your body. And the last one is walnuts which are good for good fats, again, inflammation, good for sore knees, good for really any type of inflammation. Your heart disease, walnuts are amazing for that with, uh, with your high blood pressure um, and also really high in zinc as well. Leanne Phillipson uh, from SproutRight.com, who's now doing more of this kind of work on LeannePhillipson.com. Thanks yes, very much. Thank you. Hello, James. Hello, Jerry. This is Mr. Healthy Eater. Oh, I don't know about that anymore. Oh, no. I think I've lost my uh, you gave that up? enthusiasm for it. You lost your container with all today. your vegetables you used Pardon to walk me? around with. Your veg your vegetable container you used to walk around with. No, no, no. I don't want to talk about it, Jerry. Okay. Your arm looks worse today. I know. Go it's ahead. What are you going to do on your show? fall off. Uh-oh. Um, uh, what are we going to do today? Joggers in cemeteries. Why? Why don't you just play frisbee in the cemetery or bring your barbecue and set that up? Why are you jogging in a cemetery? Also, um, we're going to uh, do some other fantastic things, Jerry. <laughs> Count on it. <laughs> Newstalk 1010 and Plaza Auto Group want to give you a brand new Kia. Go to Newstalk1010.com. Enter for your